Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning all. Good morning, Father. I welcome you all for this Holy Mass as we participate in this Holy Mass. Let us call to mind all our sins and shortcomings and ask pardon and forgiveness from the Lord. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth, earth peace to you. people of goodwill. We, we praise you. We bless you. We adore, adore you. you. We glorify you. you. We give you thanks, thanks for your great for glory. glory. Lord God, Lord God heavenly, heavenly King, King, O God, God Almighty, Almighty Father, Father, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, only begotten God, Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who give constant increase to your church by new offspring, grant that your servants may hold fast in their lives to the sacrament they have received in faith through our Lord Jesus Christ, your beloved Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter stood up with the eleven. You who are Jews, indeed all of you staying in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to my words. You who are children of Israel, hear these words. Jesus the Nazarene was a man 
commended to you by God with mighty deeds, wonders, and signs, which God worked through him in your midst, as you are yourselves know. This man delivered up by the set plan and foreknowledge of God, you killed using lawless men to crucify him. But God raised him up, releasing him from the throes of death, because it was impossible for him to be held by it. For David says of him, I saw the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Therefore my heart has been glad, and my tongue has exalted. My flesh, too, will dwell in hope, because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your Holy One to see corruption. You have made known to me the paths of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence. My brothers, one can confidently say to you about the patriarch David that he died and was buried and his tomb is in our midst today. But since he was a prophet and knew that God had sworn an oath to him that he would set one of his descendants upon his throne, he foresaw and spoke of the resurrection of the Christ, that neither was he abandoned to the netherworld, nor did his flesh see corruption. God raised this Jesus as it was of this we are all witnesses. Exalted at the right hand of God, he poured forth the promise of the Holy Spirit that he received from the Father, as you both see and hear. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you, O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup. You it is who hold fast my lot. Keep, Keep me safe, safe O God, God you for you are, are my hope. hope. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night, my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me, and with him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Keep, Keep me, me safe, O God, God, you are my high rope. rope. Therefore, my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body, too, abides in confidence because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. Keep, Keep me, me safe, safe O oh God, you, you are, are my hope. hope. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joy in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. Keep, Keep me, me safe, O oh God, God, you are my hope. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint matthew glory to you O lord mary magdalene and the other mary went away quickly from the tomb fearful at overjoyed 
and ran to announce the news to his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them on their way and greeted them. They approached, embraced his feet, and did him homage. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go, tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. While they were going, some of the guard went into the city and told the chief priests all that had happened. The chief priests assembled with the elders and took counsel. Then they gave a large sum of money to the soldiers, telling them, You are to say, His disciples came by night and stole him while we were asleep. And if this gets to the ears of the governor, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. The soldiers took the money and did as they were instructed. And this story has circulated among the Jews to the present day. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear sisters and brothers, the proof of uh, the resurrection may be the subject, the theme of our subjects uh, throughout this uh, Easter octave. And mainly we can see the fearful, trembling, runaway disciples. They were very much uh, troubled to face even the public audience, especially the Pharisees and the scribes and the elders. But today, after the resurrection, disciples like Peter and other disciples, they stood in front of all the people, large audience, and they could uh, say directly, you are the ones who crucified the Lord. You are the ones who made him to suffer. He is innocent, but yet you crucified him. He came for you. Still, you made him to die. So these are the fearless words of Peter and other disciples. And today, as we meditate on these words, don't we have uh, the share or are we not in the part of those people who crucified Jesus? And today we can conclude that every day Jesus is being sacrificed here in the holy sacrifice of the mass. And for whom he is being sacrificed? For whom he is offering himself? for whom he is every day being offered or sacrificed or dying. And today, again and again, every day when we come to participate in the Holy Mass, when this is the Lamb of God, when the words are proclaimed, uh, still we say Amen when it is uh, given as communion. And we can say again, when the two women were going from the tomb, overjoyed and fearful, and they were met with the Jesus. They saw face to face with their naked eyes. They touched Jesus. They worshipped Jesus. And that was the main reason for them to fearless, to proclaim so faithfully, so strongly, to affirm the risen Lord is with us. We need not to be afraid of anyone because we are for sure and we are certain that he is risen and he is with us. Therefore, when we have that strong belief and assurance of the risen Lord who is standing by us, who is with us, and who can make us like him, who can raise our mortal bodies and give us a new life which will never die again. Therefore, when we have that faith, we will um, construct, 
we will build our lives, our life of faith, our spiritual life, our, our, our own daily uh, routine lives uh, in the truth, on the truth. That's why, so the, the women and the disciples are one side on the true side, on the truth, and the other soldiers are the building their own stories on the falsehood. On the falsehood, we know falsehood always comes to a wretched end. We know the parable uh, when Jesus said, the house built on a rock, built on sand. So therefore, whatever we spend on the sand, whatever may be the construction, mighty it would be, if we build our truth, our faith, our belief on the sand, it will come to collapse one day. But many times uh, in the world, we tend to so go after whatever is false, whatever is not true, on the falsehood. Many times uh, we end up in discouragement. Therefore, Jesus, he said, I am the truth. Therefore, whatever he says, he, he told the women, tell my disciples, my brothers, to go to Galilee. They will, there they will see me. Why they will, there they will see me? They have to see Jesus in, in the places where Jesus preached, in the people in whom, for whom he did the miracles, where he raised the dead, where he cured the lepers, where he preached the gospel, where he walked, everywhere. Now, why people go to the places where Jesus actually lived and walked, did the miracles, the Holy Land, wherever Jesus is uh, walking, wherever Jesus is uh, talking, wherever Jesus is performing the miracles, uh, there Jesus is alive and active even now today. Because uh, Jesus is speaking, Jesus is walking to us, and Jesus is coming to us, Jesus is being with us, Jesus is, uh, is uh, always uh, present with us. Therefore, just one thing we need to understand, the difference is, uh, is in us. The difference is in us, whether we are able to sense him, whether we are able to know him, whether we are able to feel him, the difference is uh, with us in our faith. Therefore, let us ask for that grace where we can feel his presence with us. We can feel, where we can feel his touch, where we can feel his uh, hearing, his words, and his talk. Therefore, God may bless each one of us. Amen. Let us rise up. Let us put forward our praise and petitions. God our loving Father, today as we gather here, as Easter people, as people of the resurrected Lord, we offer ourselves and put forward our intentions and prayers. Lord, send your Holy Spirit upon us and strengthen our belief. We pray to you, O oh Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, hear our prayers. Loving Father, we pray for the special intentions of Randall, Gerard, Montenegro, Mary Gomez, Frank, Machado, Frank, Mary Nunes, and especially for all the souls in purgatory. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, we pray for all the people who are still living in disbelief about your resurrection. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, hear Please put forward your own intentions too.
We make all these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Our offertory hymn is found in the communion hymns for Easter, number seven. See us, Lord, about your altar, number seven. See us, Lord, about your altar, though so many we are one. Many souls, my love, united in the heart of Christ, your Son. Hear our prayers, O oh, loving Father. Hear in them your Son, our Lord. Hear him speak our love and worship as we sing with one accord. Once were seen the bread, blood, and water. Now are seen but bread and wine. Once in you. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept graciously, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your peoples, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By day he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with paschal joy. Every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down His Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time He was betrayed and entered willingly into His passion, He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to His disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring heart to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Myron, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and found by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, what in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, say the word and my soul, soul shall be shall healed. healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our communion hymn from our com Easter communion hymns is number five, I am the bread of life. Number five. I am the bread of life. 
You who come to me shall not hunger, and who believe in me shall not thirst. No one can come to me unless the Father beckons, and I will raise. Let us pray. May the grace of this Paschal Sacrament abound in our minds, we pray, O Lord, and make those you have set on the way of eternal salvation worthy of your gifts through Christ our Lord. God our loving Father, we pray, bless these your children and those to whom they are taking the Eucharistic Lord. Fill them with your Easter blessings in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you. God bless you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
go in peace to love and serve the lord and our neighbors thanks be to god thank wish you god wish you all a happy and blessed day amen please join us in singing